Hello and welcome to Cloud Learn SME Part 9 of Azure Solutions Architect Real Exam Questions and Answers with Explanations. You can also find reference links in the description. To become an Azure Solutions Architect, you must pass AZ104 and AZ305 exam. You can also go through AZ104 exam video series and links are available in the description. If you like the video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to our Cloud Learn SME channel to help you pass AZ305 exam and become an Azure Solutions Architect. Question number one, you're designing an Azure governance solution. All Azure resources must be easily identifiable based on the following operational information, environment, owner, department, and cost center. You need to ensure that you can use the operational information when you generate reports for the Azure resources. What should you include in the solution? And the options are, A, an Azure data catalog that uses the Azure REST API as a data source. B, an Azure management group that uses parent groups to create a hierarchy. C. An Azure policy that enforces tagging rules. D. An Azure Active Directory administrative units. And the correct option is C. An Azure policy that enforces tagging rules. You apply tags to your Azure resources, resource groups, and subscriptions to logically organize them into a taxonomy. Each tag consists of a name and a value pair. You use Azure policy to enforce tagging rules and conventions. Instead of manually applying tags or searching for resources that aren't compliant, you create a policy that automatically applies to needed tags during deployment. Next, question number two. You need to design a highly available Azure SQL database that meets the following requirements. First requirement, failover between replicas of the database must occur without any data loss. The second requirement, the database must remain available in the event of a zone outage. Third requirement, cost must be minimized. Which deployment option should you use? And the options are A. Azure SQL Managed Instance Business Critical B. Azure SQL Database Premium C. Azure SQL Database Basic D. Azure SQL Managed Instance General Purpose Correct option is B. Azure SQL Database Premium The premium service tier is designed for OLTP application with high transaction rates and low latency input output requirements. It offers the highest resilience to failures by using several isolated replicas. Next, question number 3. Your company has an existing web app that runs on Azure Virtual Machines. You need to ensure that the app is protected from SQL injection attempts and use a layer 7 load balancer. The solution must minimize disruption to the code of the app. What should you recommend? To answer, drag the appropriate services to the correct targets. And we have the services, Web Application Firewall, Azure Application Gateway, Azure Load Balancer, Azure Traffic Manager, SSL Offloading, URL-based Content Routing, Answer Area. For Azure Service, it's Azure Application Gateway and Feature, Web Application Firewall. Azure Application Firewall provides protection for web applications. These protections are provided by the open web. Next, question number four. Your company has the infrastructure shown in the following table. We have columns, location, resource. Location Azure with resource, Azure subscription name, subscription one, and 20 Azure web apps. For on-premises data center location with resources, Active Directory domain, server running Azure AD Connect, Linux computer name, server one. The on-premises Active Directory domain syncs with Azure Active Directory. Server 1 runs an application named App1 that uses LDAP queries to verify users identifies in the on-premises Active Directory domain. You plan to migrate Server 1 to a virtual machine in Subscription 1. A company security policy states that the virtual machines and services deployed to a Subscription 1 must be prevented from accessing the on-premises network. You need to recommend a solution to ensure that App1 continues to function after the migration. The solution must meet the security policy. What should you include in the recommendations? And the options are A. Azure AD Application Proxy B. Azure Active Directory Domain Services Role on a Virtual Machine C. An Azure VPN Gateway D. Azure AD Domain Services And the correct option is Azure AD Domain Services Azure AD Domain Services provides managed domain services such as Domain Join, Group Policy, LDAP and Corpus or NDL Authentication Next, question number 5. You have an Azure subscription. The subscription has a block container that contains multiple blocks. 10 users in the finance department of your company plan to access the blocks during the month of April. You need to recommend a solution to enable access to the blocks during the month of April only. Which security solution should you include in the recommendation? And the options are A. Shared access signature B. Conditional access policies C. Certificates D. Access keys and the correct option is shared access signatures. To enable access to blocks in a container during the month of April only, use shared access signature. 
SAS tokens can be generated with an expiration time and can be scoped to provide granular access control. SAS tokens can easily be generated and distributed to the 10 finance department users who need access to the blocks during the month of April. SAS tokens will no longer be valid once they expire. Next, question number 6. You have an Azure Active Directory tenant that syncs with an on-premises Active Directory domain. You have an internal web app named Web App 1 that is hosted on-premises. Web App 1 uses integrated Windows authentication. Some users work remotely and do not have VPN access to the on-premises network. You need to provide the remote users with single sign-on access to Web App 1. Which two features should you include in the solution? The options are A. Azure AD Application Proxy B. Azure AD Privileged Identity Management C. Conditional Access Policy D. Azure Arc E. Azure AD Enterprise Applications F. Azure Application Gateway And the correct options are A. Azure AD Application Proxy E. Azure AD Enterprise Applications Application Proxy is a feature of Azure AD that enables users to access on-premises web application from a remote client. Application Proxy includes both Application Proxy Service which runs in the cloud and the Application Proxy Connector which runs on an on-premises server. You can configure single sign-on to an Application Proxy application. Next question number 7. You plan to deploy an Azure web app named App1 that will use Azure Active Directory authentication. App1 will be accessed from the internet by the users at your company. All the users have computers that run Windows 10 and are joined to Azure AD. You need to recommend a solution to ensure that the users can connect to App1 without being prompted for authentication and can access App1 only from company-owned computers. What should you recommend for each requirement? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. In the answer area, the users can connect to App1 without being prompted for authentication. And the options are an Azure AD app registration, an Azure AD managed identity, Azure AD application proxy. And the correct option is an Azure AD app registration. Azure AD provides cloud-based directory and identity management services. You can use Azure AD to manage users of your application and authenticate access to your application using Azure Active Directory. And for the second answer area, the users can access App1 only from company-owned computers and the options are a conditional access policy, an Azure AD administrative unit, Azure Application Gateway, Azure Blueprints, Azure Policy. And the correct option is a conditional access policy. Conditional access policies are like if-then statements. If a user wants to access a resource, then they must complete an action. By using conditional access policy, you can apply the right access controls when needed to keep your organization secure and stay out of user's way when not needed. Next, question number 8. Your on-premises network contains a server named Server1 that runs an ASP.NET application named App1. You have an hybrid deployment of Azure Active Directory. You need to recommend a solution to ensure that users sign in by using their Azure AD account and Azure multi-factor authentication when they connect to App1 from the internet. Which three features should you recommend be deployed and configured in sequence? To answer, move the appropriate features from the list of features to be answered area and arrange them in the correct order. We have the features, a public Azure load balancer, a managed identity, an internal Azure load balancer, a conditional access policy, an Azure app service plan, Azure AD application proxy, and Azure AD enterprise application. Three features are Azure AD application proxy, an Azure AD enterprise application, a conditional access policy. Start by enabling communications to Azure data centers to prepare an environment for Azure AD application proxy and then add an on-premises app to Azure AD. Now that you have prepared your environment and installed a connector, you are ready to add on on-premises applications to Azure AD, which is by signing in as an administrator in the Azure portal. In the left navigation panel, select Azure Active Directory, select the enterprise application and then select new application. Next, question number 9. Your company deploys several virtual machines on-premises and to Azure. Express Route is deployed and configured for on-premises to Azure connectivity. Several virtual machines exhibit network connectivity issues. You need to analyze the network traffic to identify whether packets are being allowed or denied to the virtual machines. Here the solution is, install and configure the Azure Monitor agent and their dependency agent on all the virtual machines. Use VM Insights in Azure Monitor to analyze the network traffic. Does this meet the core? And the options are A, yes, B, no. And the correct option is B, no. Use the Azure Monitor Agent if you need to collect guest logs and metrics from any machines in Azure, in other clouds or on on-premises. Use the Dependency Agent if you need to use the map feature, VM Insights or Service Map Solutions. To analyze the network traffic, use Azure Network Watcher IP Flow Verify, which allows to detect traffic filtering issue at a VM level.
Next, question number 10. You have several Azure App Service web apps that use Azure Key Vault to store data encryption keys. Several departments have the following request to support the web app. Columns Department Request For Department Security, requests are review the membership of administrative roles and require users to provide a justification for continued membership. Get alerts about change in administrative assignments. See a history of administrator activation, including which changes administrators made to Azure resources. For department development, request is enable the applications to access Key Vault and retrieve keys for use in code. For department quality assurance, request is receive temporary administrator access to create and configure additional web apps in the REST environment. Which services should you run for each department's request to answer configure the appropriate options in the answer area? Note each correct selection is worth one point. In the answer area for security, options are Azure AD Privileged Identity Management, Azure Managed Identity, Azure AD Connect, Azure AD Identity Protection and the correct option is Azure AD Privileged Identity Management. Privileged Identity Management provides time-based and approval-based role activation to mitigate the risks of excessive, unnecessary or misused access premises on resources. For development, options are Azure AD Privileged Identity Management, Azure Managed Identity, Azure AD Connect, Azure AD Identity Protection. And the correct option is Azure Managed Identity. Managed Identity provides an identity for application to use when connecting to your resources that support Azure Active Directory authentication. For quality assurance, options are Azure AD Privileged Identity Management, Azure Managed Identity, Azure AD Connect, Azure AD Identity Protection. And the correct option is Azure AD Privileged Identity Management. Privileged Identity Management provides time-based and approval-based role activation to mitigate the risk of excessive, unnecessary or misused access premises on resources that you care about. Thank you for watching part 9 of Azure Solution Architect Real Exam Questions and Answers. We hope you found it informative and helpful. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe and comment to our channel for more related topics. We look forward to continuing the journey with you in next videos. Thank you.